everyone, we're Jake and Tatina, a married couple living in BC, Canada with our two dogs, traveling part-time whenever, wherever, and however we can. Jake always loves dragging me out into the middle of nowhere with him to find cool camping spots and basically just rough it out with him. I usually end up having fun, but this time he suggested something that is a little outside of what I would deem comfortable, which is this. He wants to go out into the wilderness and spend a night in the back of our tiny commuter car. For one night, we're saying goodbye to our roomy, comfy trailer and hello to a living space of 50 cubic feet. Also some very cold temperatures at night and some DIY cooking scenarios. We are trained professional campers. Do not do this at home. This trip is a little spontaneous, and let's be honest, I might be a little miserable. Um, yeah, I really hope we don't look back on this video and say, why did we do this? But it also could be a cool experience, and I love Jake, so let's go. been driving for like half an hour maybe and we found this amazing spot we're gonna go take the dogs walk down and check it out there's the car be safe my baby oh the entrance is right lead the way babe bit of a treacherous climb down it's worth it Psycho actually wants to go and swim in this. No, Charlie, you don't get to go. We're gonna head to the other side of the bridge and see if that's a little bit better for maybe letting the dogs swim a bit. Just to give you an idea on how steep this hill is to get down to the water. Hey, <laughs> come on up. Okay. Careful. Yay. And now we're gonna go climb down yeah. to this side. This, this side's way. not as bad of a climb. It's still pretty steep. All right, where are we going now? We are gonna go try and find somewhere to set up this car and set up our bed so we can make camp for the night. Okay, I think we found a spot. We gotta see if we can get the car in there first. Tina's gonna watch me as I drive along the rocks. The Matrix doesn't have a lot of clearance, but I think we're gonna be just fine. We made it, beautiful. It's a nice little pull off right off the main road and it's right by the creek. When we wake up in the morning, we'll get to open up the hatch and just look out under the water. It'll be really nice. Show them what it looks like in the car. So it's yeah. really packed in the car. That's where the dogs were sitting, as you can see by all the fur. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so dirty. Shouldn't show that on camera. We've got Cooler, sleeping bags, a duffel bag full of our clothing, some towels, and we've got a memory foam topper just kind of squished in the back area here. Blankets, tons of blankets. We actually got uh, sleeping bags as well. It might be cold tonight. It is September, you know, nearing the end of September. Got a burner, everything. I think it'll be really cozy tonight. I'm gonna bring these seats down. I'm gonna make up the bed. We only have a one and a half inch memory foam topper here. So to make this more comfy, I'm putting two sleeping bags laid out on top of it. Hopefully it'll make it softer, I think it will. Ooh, it looks so comfy. But these stinkers have to come in with us and look how dirty they are. Best noodles in the town. They're good, they're so good. We forgot a pot. So we really have no way to boil water. Our oatmeal in the morning, our tea tonight, and our oh, kimchi tea. bowls for dinner, not gonna happen. New plan, new plan, new plan, new plan, new plan. I got it. Okay, come on, come on, come okay. on. We have these empty cans from the bubbly we drank on the way up, and I think we can put these on the stove and boil water. I think we have to do it really fast though because it doesn't sound very uh, healthy. We're we'll give it a it. try, we're gonna, we're gonna try. Why not? It'll work, right? Can it work? It can. <laughs> That's some gentle comedy, dude. This doesn't seem smart. 
works. I think this is a good sign. I don't know if you can see, but there's little bubbles forming in there. It's not even melting or burning the can in the, in the slightest way. So we are doing pretty good with this experiment so far. All right, it's ready. <laughs> I am so ready for noodles. This is the most ghetto <laughs> cup noodles I've ever had. We are trained professional campers. Do not do this at home. Or when you're camping. Or when you're camping. <laughs> okay. We have one bowl of kimchi ramen noodles for you. There you go. Yum. All right. Oh, it's so steamy. Oh, that's a good sign. Yeah, I'm going to take a small bite just in case. I can't believe we did it. We did it. We did it. And for dessert, what do we got? Cookies. Chocolate chip cookies. Mm. Okay, time for puppies dinners. It's not even nine o'clock yet. It is pitch black out here. So how are we staying clean when we're camping out of a car? With Sensodyne. <laughs> <laughs> so we use our uh, water dispenser here and we're hanging it off the side of the matrix. And then we're just using that as a tap right now. Seems to be working out okay, right? Crawling into bed now. It's been a lot of Tetris scene to get everything to fit. Charlie's sitting in the front seat. We got a towel down. It looks pretty cozy. If Charlie's not okay with that, we'll bring him in the in the bed with us. Charlie. There's actually quite a lot of room. Like I can sit up straight. You can't, yeah. but I can. Yeah. We always go travel trailer camping. I love our trailer because it's so comfortable. But you can't take the trailer to some places, including this area. There's no way our trailer could have made it on this yeah. road. I'm surprised that the Matrix actually made yeah, it, to be honest. Yeah. In the future, we might look at getting some kind of camper or something we can really take off-road and 4x4 four four and uh, all that, but still have, you know, some creature comfort. You can just reach more places with, like, a camper or a yeah. van. Agreed. I love you. <laughs> I love her. Before we go to bed, I'm going to turn on the car and blast the heater for 10 or 15 minutes. It should kind of preheat the car, I'm thinking. We are all settled in. We're gonna set up the laptop. We're actually watching the TV show C right now. It's an Apple produced uh, TV show about uh, if humanity went blind. Yeah. It's really interesting. We're uh, about to watch the last episode of season one. We were just talking about how it's so funny that we're cramped in this tiny little car when we have like a beautiful house at home. And we're sleeping in a, what, $3,000 Toyota Matrix here? Yeah. Like. <laughs> See the things you do for you fun, right? You gotta do it, right? Yeah, we're enjoying life. Well, we're gonna go watch those TV shows and then go to bed. Night. We'll see you guys in the morning. Ooh, good morning. It's 8 a.m. I slept okay. It's a pretty firm um, surface to sleep on here. At about 6, I woke up pretty cold. Turned on the car heater, let that run for about 10 minutes. And then went back to sleep. The dogs were okay, I think. Charlie stood up front. He didn't seem to complain. Joey took up quite a bit of space last night. We did move him at 6 this morning. Moved him over. I think if we did this again, I wouldn't mind having like a blow-up air mattress underneath. I think that would save my back a lot. My back is pretty sore. We had enough blankets, though. I'm going to make my way outside to pack up. And then we'll be on our way. So one of the best things experience in the morning from car camping is the beautiful view as long as you found a beautiful view to park beside. We were lucky last night and we found a little pull off and we parked right beside this river and when we open up this door here the view is priceless. It's just so nice. flying the drone and uh, I guess I came too close to a tree. Came flying down and hit the top of the car very hard. This propeller is broken, which we have extra propellers to fix that, but I can't put the battery back in here. It won't fit anymore. And also the camera has broken right off. So I'm pretty sure the drone is now garbage. 
but thankfully we paid an extra, I think it was $100, maybe $75 for uh, damage insurance. So as long as we had the drone and we could ship it back, they would replace it at no cost to us. So we will be uh, exercising that insurance plan <laughs> because uh, Jake made a boo-boo. It is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. Hi, boys. Where are we going? Um, well, I'm going to go up this slope here, and it's been raining, so it's going to go. All right. Double, double. Okay, well that's the end of our trip. We are off the Forest Service Road. We pulled into a Tim Hortons here. We got some uh, fresh tea and coffee. So hopefully you guys liked the video. Thank you for watching. Please hit that subscribe button, like the video on YouTube, and if you want to see more of what we're up to in our daily lives, check out our, out our Instagram page. We post a lot there. Charlie, you want to say goodbye? Come here. Bye. I think because we're the Cider River, we're gonna have to talk very loudly. We brought the two propane burner. <laughs> and, uh, we're gonna light it up. Little mousey. Oh, oh, there he is. Hey, little mouse. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. We'll tell a scary stories. And we will tell ghost stories. Oh my gosh, you look scary. That's my face. <laughs>